This time on Deathcraft Dungeon, we're going for core again because there is fungus among us. Check it out. We're going to make some fungus cavern scatter for Dad Door Cave. I'll show you how it's done. Get ready. All righty, here we are. Yep, there you are. Double stacked up, baby. Glued together just like we do with the cave. Hack this out. Got to make our first base. Uh, now, nah, nail file. You're smoothing these out a lot more. Hiding that seam a little bit better than we did on the other stuff. All right, showing that. Nice and smooth. Smoothing it out. Kind of make a cavey. Now, take the little file. Wrap it up. Now you're going to make the lines all the way aside. Horizontally. There it is. Make it a little more rocky looking. That's where we get our texture, and we also use our tinfoil eventually. There you go. Just make some little hacks in there. See? Kind of showed you. It's pretty quick, but you'll see it on the other pieces. All right. Move that out of the way. Got our base. Now, here's the pieces we started working on. Texture, texture, texture. There it is. Roll that bad boy up. Got that aluminum foil ball working overtime. Hack it up. Beat it up. Roll it up. There you go. Showing it. Showing it. Texture. All right, see, all it is just levels glued together there, cut off. We did the same technique we just did with the base with everything. All right, going to make a little step going up. Same thing, see, lined around. All the edges get lined. Just keep doing that. It's kind of tedious. This is doable with foam core, no problem, but way easier if we use the big blue and pink foam. But this will work. Every glue, just kind of glue as you think. You're going to make your bases. You want to make, you know, six, eight, ten, whatever you can get out of there. Like, we're just using scraps of the other stuff, but uh, I use scraps, all the pieces, the leftover foam core that we had from the cave and the water feature. Same single piece of foam core is making all this stuff. We're very, we, we definitely had to dig into some uh, bits here from the leftovers to make all these pieces, but yep, same thing. We're gluing them, stacking them, see? So all I did was glue them together, stack them up, round them out. That's how you're making your uh, stalagmite kind of features. There you go. Check it out. I'll make sure I make the lines all through them, too. That's going to show up real good when we paint it up. Yeah. Now, I, it's pretty sturdy, but painting it, you got to be careful. Or I would recommend, if it did it again, put a toothpick up the middle of that bad boy to make it more secure. Because we end up doing Mod Podge and blacking these to give them a little more stiffness, but painting them a couple of those taller stalagmites, the little skinny ones, broke off. There we are using our dwarf trash bringer or whatever the hell he is, scout, I guess. Kind of checking things out there. Check it out. Ah, nah, toilet paper roll. That's the other part of this craft. We cut pieces off. That's how we made our platform to save off foam core to make it a little taller. See? Put the rings, glue them on. Gonna measure it out, end up two of them. Oh, this is a single with the steps going up. We did that. It's totally simple though. Just hot glue, hot glue, hot glue. There's a piece there, working it over because I'm gonna end up gluing it on top of that. Yep, there you go. Make a little platform, steps going up. You can do the same thing. We'll probably do some regular ones without the fungus all over them. But these are our basic pieces there. It's all by eye, just kind of look, and then on the cardboard, you're going to run a bunch of hot glue up and down that for make some texture on there, so it looks kind of stony, cave-like, when you're painting it up. That's totally DM Scotty style there, though, which, hey, he is the master. Inside, you can reinforce that under with putting a little glue underneath. See, we didn't base most of these. Most of these are going to sit straight onto where our play surface, which works great. There you go. Give you some examples of what we can do. See those little bee cut off pieces that we made? We're going to use those. Just glue them together, shove them in there. Yep. All oh, it's just scrap. Bunch of scrap. Because we're making the, using all the leftover leavings of our other two projects to make more stuff. That's the cheap way and the best way to go about it. Just put it in there. Hot glue it off. Hot glue action, baby. And then you make sure you get the lines on all of them using that cheapo nail file. You get a whole pack of them for like like 
six or eight of them for a buck at the dollar store. Yeah, always check with your mini, see if you fell off like you did that. See you and me? Uh, kind of paring these down a little bit. You can't really see it because of my fingers, but I'll show you. See? That's how, you know, you're going to bevel them so they kind of look still lag mighty. I mean, you can only get so much with some foam board, but works fine. Comes out good in the end. It's a whole lot of action now. A whole lot of cutting and a whole lot of using that nail file. Yep, there you go. Check it out. Got some good cover places. Hang a bunch of stuff. Make a bigger platform. Same way, just kind of showing you. Didn't go through all steps. Just kind of showing you. It's exactly made as the other thing. You can make it any way you like. I kept them lower because I didn't have a bunch of foam core. And I also didn't want to put bases on most of these. This just makes it easy. It's scattered. It can move it around. You can use it anywhere. Rearrange your cavern any way you need to do it. That's why I don't do giant pieces for a lot of this stuff. Just because I like the scatter look. So I can have multiple uses from the same build. Just like I do with the junk. I oh, see. Let's pull some more junk out of there. Find a good spot that'll fit. There we go. Glue that on there. Kind of extend that out. Make it a little less like a toilet paper tube. Uh, a little shadow puppet action there. You can't see it, but you can assume that we're making lines on that. All right, here we go. There's, there he is assembled. Now we're going to do a tall one. Why? Because I want to hang a bunch of fungus off this. It's pretty good in height there. It's made exactly the same way as the other ones, though. Nothing fancy at all. Because it's tall, though. I'm pretty sure we based this one. Yeah. All right. We're blacking it up. You're going to hand black these. You don't want it to, it will melt. But uh, I mixed black and Mod Podge, Black Magic Craft style. Another awesome channel. Go check it out. As well as the DMs Craft. Always shout out to your betters. All right, wax paper. Get that bad boy. Get your sheet of that. Cut a few pieces off because you're going to lay it out. We're going to do some mushrooms. We got those popsicle sticks so we can glue the mushrooms to them so it'll be easy to paint all of them at one time. There you go. This is easy. Just dollops of paint. Or right, the paint. Hot glue. Hot glue. Paint. You ain't even been drinking yet today. Give it time, though. Give it time, kids. All right, see? You're going to do this. Make your little circles. Little circles. Puddles of hot glue. They're going to dry out pretty quick. We're going to do on a wax paper. Wax paper. Wax paper. Because it's going to uh, tear off, but that's okay. It kind of gives us a little sturdier surface underneath of the mushroom that we can glue the rest to. So it'll be good. It's no big deal. It's a whole lot easier to peel off if than your cutting board if you're doing a bunch of these. If you're doing one or two or three, you know, the cutting board's fine. It pops right off. But this is way easier. you got to peel a little bit. but it, And now we're going to cut us a stick. There you go. Check it out. That's at an angle. That's what I tried to show you there. Didn't do a very good job. But that way the little mushroom cap would be leaning. Got a little lean to it. Got that gangster lean. Gangster lean mushroom cap. And put it on here. Right on the stick. There you go. Uh, and then I'm, I'm not showing you, but it kind of makes some roots and thicken that thing up. Put it the direction I want. Done. Moving on to the next one. See, it's already sturdy because I fell over and didn't fall off. Hot glue is amazing. Yep, there we go. Make another one. Make another one. You're going to make a shitload of mushrooms for this thing. Just get mushroom crazy. And this one on toothpicks, so I'm going to stick it in that so we can keep the spike because it's easier to mount. Same principle. All right, now it's time for paint. Gray, there's our brown. Then we got a little bone color, a little bit of white. There you go. And we are going to do the It's Sponge Time again. We're just going to sponge this up just like we did every other dead piece we've done with the cave and the water feature. Now we're going to do it with this. So first off, we're starting off with our gray under on top of the black. Great up good, it's going to look stone. Now, you don't have to go as crazy as I did if you don't want. Like, if you don't want to make fungus, you can just do this regular steps, and you got these cool scatter pieces. It looks pretty good like that. Once you do some highlights, you can get a little brown action going, and a little, the bone, and a little white. See? Makes them things stand up. Oh, I'm not showing another one, apparently. If I finish one, let's just do all the gray. Yeah, that's a great idea. Let's just do gray like it's crazy. Yeah, there you go. Of course, I'm going to show it because it's so amazing that I can do something with a sponge. There we go. Yep, yep, yep. Gray, gray, gray. Nobody's seen a sponge being painted before. Oh, let me show it. Now, 
Thank God we stopped doing the gray. Went in there and got some brown action going on there, finally. Just like the cave painting, just like everything else. But in case you haven't watched it, we'll show it again. Of course we'll show it again because I apparently love to show myself paint shit off the camera and then pull it back down in there. Oh, shadow puck and painting. There you go. Now we're using that. Kind of get some highlights going on there. Highlights. There you go. That's quick. And a little more highlights, maybe. Yeah, that white brought it all out. Looks pretty cool by itself. Then we're going to do it on those. Probably show that. All right, now we probably do the green. Got two greens. See? So we did like a, uh, I believe it was a palm leaf. Really light around there. And then we used a spring green, which is that makes it the big glowy. You build up to make it the brighter on top. There you go. But it's going to even be worse. There it all is. Freeze frame, baby. Freeze frame. All right, here's some pieces. Now we got some mushrooms. Doing some blues. That's like a china blue. And then I think we messed around with uh, some cobalt and there's some cool blue. Just kind of mix it up on there. Now it looks out. Then I got purple sponge and pink sponge. Tore some off, glued it on there because I want some weird colored fungus plus all that. See, I'm just showing you fungus, gluing on there. Well, all right, let's see how she went. Do, 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 do. Hey, check it out. There we got a bunch of fungus caves. Check that out. Pretty cool. Got some figs still on there from the shops. This one's badass. I'll pull that out there so you can see it a little better. Not too bad. Came out alright. Another one right here. Bunch of cool little fungus. Among us. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Get it in the frame, baby. Get it in the frame. There we go. So, yeah, not too hard. Let's glue a bunch of foam together. Dollar store foam. Now, that was made with the last of the scraps of the whole one sheet we did the cave entrance and we also did what was the other thing we did with this cave entrance fungus oh the big water feature that I shot the back of and looked like an idiot so we'll uh, go to the pics so you can get a better look at that and sit on that now my frame going all over the place like this but uh yeah not hard uh, I gloss mod podge to make it shiny cool uh, and then I did a dirty brown wash on all the mushrooms, kind of, and some of the, and on the uh, sponges to make them look kind of nastier and make it all kind of match together with all those weird, crazy colors. But uh, yeah, then gloss mod pods and anything that had fungus, including the sponges, so it uh, kind of had a little shine to it. And uh, that's about it. Pretty simple. Uh, we'll keep going with our cave train. We will get us another since we have us. Another piece of dollar store foam car. We'll keep going with the foam core build. Foam car and junk. So that was just, you know, toothpicks, uh, hot glue, and then uh, occasionally we use a couple of matchsticks too to get some thicker mushroom stalks. But most of it's all just hot glue and toothpick. Yeah, some of it's just hot glue. Like make a disc, cut it in half, glue it to the sides, how you make those hanging mushrooms. The, the disc ones hanging on there. Super simple, then some colorful sponges, and this time we actually used real sponges, like new ones, not used ones, which worked out fine too, because uh, once we mod podge them, they got good and crispy. So, there you go. So we kept our weird colors, kind of undark, under darky. But, uh, yeah, fungus cave. Check out the pics. That's how we do it, Deathcraft style. Next time, we'll get ready for more caves eventually.